you know what it is. It's Alex Soap Talk. This is that very expensive soap that I bought by mistake. $15 a bar. But let's see how it smells. Let's see how it looks. Let's get this package open. And I'll be right back. And the name of the soap will be, of course, on the description of the video. Because I don't even remember the name brand. Or when I look at the soap bars. So let's get this open and I'll be right back. Back, guys. Got the bag open. Now let's look at these bars of soap. There's eight. Eight bars, right? There. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I was pointing at the floor. Six, seven, and number eight. So these these are the eight different scents that I bought right here. Sorry, I was pointing at the floor, guys. And you could clearly see the soap and smell it right through the side. This one smells like oranges right off the back. It has like an orangey smell. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. I don't want to break the box. How do I? Oh, right here. Oh, you open these from the bottom? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Through the bottom. And these are supposed to have like man pheromones, and that's why they're so expensive. Supposed to be pheromones that attract a female to you. So that's why these bricks cost $15 a piece. So this is the most expensive soap I have bought so far at $15 a piece. But this smells great. This one, like I said, smells like oranges. Then we're going to take a look at the lion. Yeah, baby. I'm a Leo. Oh, okay. You can open it from the bottom or the top. The different color bars and different scents. I like them though. So this one smells good too. It has like a pineapple scent. Mm -hmm. This one smells like pineapple and oranges mixed. It's a great scent too. Then we're going to see the Cobra. Yeah, the Cobra bar. But yeah, this is the uh, brand right here. I can't even pronounce it. Sorry guys, I'm dyslectic and it's hard for me to read sometimes. And right now this brand is really hard for me to read for some reason. I like the design of this bar. Let's see what this one. Mmm, this one smells like mint cologne. I like this one a lot. Mm-hmm. Definitely a manly smell, the snake one. Oh yeah, I forgot. The ingredients are, I think, in the back of the box. Yeah, right there. You guys could pause and read it. Is that the ingredients? Uh, no, so they don't list the ingredients on the box. But I know for sure on the website, they do have the ingredients. So this one smells like cologne. Let's see this one. This one's supposed to be what, a werewolf? Yeah, I think it's a werewolf. That one was, this one was a cold, uh, oh, that's a crocodile. My bad. It's a crocodile. This one is the werewolf. This one's like really... Mm, this one smells good too. This one smells like mint cologne and it's like really stuck in the box right now. It's like really, yeah, I don't want to break the, the box. It's really stuck in there. But as we guys can see, it's like a whitish and blackish marble effect because it's hot today. So yeah, it got really stuck in the box. I don't want to break the bar. So I'm just going to leave it in there. Then we got the gorilla one. I'm pretty sure they all say the scents right here in the bottom. This one's supposed to be mint and something. This one smells good. It smells like mint. All right, I'm not even going to show you. This one is a black bar. It's kind of like pine tar. See? So there's no reason to, like, take it all the way out. So this is the, uh, like, their version of pine tar. It smells good. has, like, a hint of mint. Hope, hopefully it doesn't have too much uh, menthol. Because that does activate my anxiety. Then we got a King Cobra one. That's the scent right there. Oh, this one's really minty. This one smells like uh, double mint gum. That's what it smells like, this bar. Yep, it smells like double mint gum. So I'm pretty sure this one's going to have a lot of menthol. And then for the last two bars, we got this one. I don't know. This is a jacked up tiger, I'm guessing. And it's also a black bar. This one's pine musk. 
Oh, it smells great. What? Pine musk. And it's two different colors. It's black and brown. Mm, this one smells like cologne too. So this is a definitely go right here. Let me pull this one out to see if it's completely black. Yeah, see, I know it was completely black. This one's completely black. Then for the last and final one, we got the Rhino Bar. This one is like a grayish color. Pull the bar out. Mm, smells good too. It has like a smoky wood scent. A cologne smoky wood scent. This one smells like cologne. This one definitely smells like cologne. This one smells like citrus. This one smells like mint. This, the lion one smells like pineapple. Pineapple orangey scent. And this one smells like... Like pine tar. To be honest, it smells like pine tar. It has like a little woodsy smell. And... This one smells like great, a great smelling cologne. Even though I couldn't pull out the bar because like you guys can see it's like really stuck in here. You know, they tossed it around in the USPS truck. So you can tell the box, the box is bent. So yeah, so there we go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. You all ready? Thank you for watching.